Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandy. I'm back in the Carpet Vanguard Deck Profile. So, because you're to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go to the show. This time we are covering DZ set one, Keter Sanctuary Sarvassal. So, Sarvassal is the angel that I really wish called from damage zone, especially because Raziel didn't end up calling from damage zone. But all around, it's a very fun deck to play because even though he calls from drop zone, it has that little bit of a grand blue mechanic to him. He can spam the board early on, he can pressure really well. He got what, in my opinion, is straight up the best of the like the grade threes that required the specific um ride line and soul this is all around really fun to play so let's go and get the most star shot we see what we got because this deck just works really well so first up we have our energy generator so the ride deck crest you might have one ride deck crest in your ride deck auto ride deck when you would ride put this card into your crest zone if you want second energy charge three continues may have to only 10 energies auto at the beginning of your ride phase energy charge three and act one vanguard or act once per turn kind of seven or not kind of seven energy boss seven to draw a card all around pretty solid very simple um so also requires a lot of energy for it's really weird the difference between three and four is so much for energy blast but um Considering the fact that he requires seven energies, he cut or four energies, you never really get to use that energy boss seven to draw a card. But the deck manages every other resource really well between soul blast and counter blast. So basically, this just only work for Zarvasol is a really good card. So it's just a nice thing to have. Then of course we have our ride line. So or not our ride line, our starter. So um, our starter today is Wings of Aspiration. So well, grade zero boost, five K shields, K base, auto roll pump for second draw card. Standard starter, not but You can really use any starter because none of the ride line really requires so well, but like like I did with the uh, first deck profile of this series and the previous deck profile for this, AK Triumph of Dragon or or, or Sorry Just respectively, um, I want to use the same ride lines or like the same trigger units, all like you know all the same stuff that their respective divine skill decks are using. And because you know Raziel uses this as their starter, this deck is also going to use as stars because they're technically canonical the same ride line. Anyways, free draw if you want second. Uh, you can make any starter you want. Like I said, I just want to go for the canonicalness. Then of course we have our triggers. First up, we run our over trigger true dra arbitrary. True Arbitrator Dragon of 100 Swords, Duravassel, Great Zoe Boost, 50k Shield, 5k Power, Over Trigger, Moment Trigger, and your deck revision can be when revealed as a trigger, can move that card, draw a card, choose one of your units. It gets plus one for the turn. If you have it during a draft check, activate its effect, which you get to end of turn. You also perform draft checks for the battles, your rear guard attacks. That is major because there's a handful of times you will have two grade threes on board um, in terms of rear guard, which means you have a total of six draft checks that turn. I mean, either way, getting draft checks for your rear guard is powerful because in this deck, you are consistently getting four attacks, and while yes, one attack won't get drive checks, the other three will, or which is good because that's guaranteeing at least four drive checks, possibly six. Um, all around, Duravassal is very nice for pressure. If you want to run Volnut for more multi attack, you can. If you want to run Esphoria for recycling, you can. I don't suggest Esphoria, though. I do suggest either Volnut for like the multi attack, like I said, or Duravassal because. Because free draft checks are free draft checks, and the more hand cards you have, well, that's just the better in a lot of cases, unless like your deck wants less hand cards. Then of course we run our normal triggers. We run our draw trigger on protection magic pro B, grade zero boost, five K shield, four K base, draw triggers guard circle plus vanguards are grade three or getting five K shields, you know, ten K shields, very nice to have. It's also a draw trigger, so again it helps increase the hand, like the pun I was making earlier with uh Duravassel over here. So increasing the hand is nice, and again, ten K shield is good to have as well because sometimes you will aggro out in the early game and having extra shield to make up for it is very helpful. Then of course we have a total of eight crits. So we have Clivema, grade zero boost, fifteen K shield, five K base. Uh, it's a vanilla crit, you can really run any crit, but like I said like the same reason we're running so well because Raziel uses it and then Raziel canonically uses Clive Mutt or Kiva Mutt however you pronounce that we're gonna run it as well here and then of course we have four copies of Blade Father Dragon because the deck can run into a soul problem uh, grade zero boost fitting k show 4k power critical trigger on a rear guy the amount of the boosted put it to soul choose one music to k for the turn uh very nice to have it increases the soul it can help add 2k which in very specific situations could make a difference it makes a difference when you're early game rushing someone to death that's for damn sure so you're on the eight crits for the pressure of the vanguard attacks you know and then of course we're on four heals and bring over distance silence Aranus. so grade zero boost fitting k show 5k power again it could be any heal Raziel uses this this deck uses it etc etc um you can run the counter heals if you want to but i don't like the counter heals too much because i feel like they're too situational for me personally if you want to run them again, go ahead. But I just prefer the normal heal and again, the theming. Now, let's move on to our normies. First up, we run three copies of the card I hated with my living soul because everyone ran it and I was so bored of seeing it's the same reason why i hated brainwash when it first came out because everyone ran brainwash no matter what dark Souls deck it was you could never not see it it was so annoying and after or at least after i stopped seeing it less i started to like it more and the same goes for this card Painkiller Angel. So, great on boost, 5k shield, AK base, all the rear guard, and then about the boosted soul blast or retire to draw a card. It's good. It's soul blast, retires itself, replaces itself, and considering the deck can constantly reform rear guards out the wazoo, it's a pretty good card, especially because it helps increase the hand. So, if you're playing against a board new deck, well, 
try killing this. Also, it can just be called back. This is our Vassal skill. So, like, if you don't want to go for multi-attack for whatever reason, you just want to go for um, bigger attacks, then use Painkiller to boost with a big number after you killed her last turn and then called her back this turn or killed her this turn and called her back this turn and the Zolbaz want to kill her again to draw more cards uh, just a good card to have and she's a nice three of then of course we have our persona at grade one support who is very useful she kind of works against me because um typically whenever i use her skill my board is already full so i have to kill something to, for her skill but still pretty solid nonetheless uh four steps angel grade one boost 5k shield aka base act re regard circle once per turn if you persona road this turn current boss one the top three cards reduction to one grade three as a new card from one of them call it to re regard circle put the rest on the bottom in any order and she'll get plus 10k for that turn um you don't have to call something if you don't want to. I don't know why the hell I choose to call something half the time. But um, deck setting is deck winning, I guess. But, you know, being able to call rear guard, get more units, and she'll become an 18k on top of your guaranteed persona ride to, that has to happen for that skill to proc, meaning your entire front row is at least a 15k drop at the, well, technically at the very least a 10k drop, but most likely 15k drops consistently. And again, four attacks that turn. Forceps Angel is a pretty solid grid one to have, as numbers can get rear guards if your opponent's board nuking you consistently. All around, very good card, and again, the first sign of this deck can and will make rear guards at the wazoo if it really needs to. Three or Forceps Angel, but typically you will have a full board by the time you get to grade three, so take that as you will. Then we have four copies of the reason why you have a full board before you get to grade three. Medical Shot Angel. We run this card, or like the card similar to in pretty much all the, um start decks because they are really good i didn't think they would be and they are really nice for a budgeting but also b superior calling so great on boost 5k shield aka based on medical shot angel auto when she's this card from hand during your right phase you may call this card to be regarded as rest not a mandatory call if you don't want to and yes she comes as rest so she can't be used the turns that she's called however next turn is say for example you went first bully an ak vanguard with an ak or she acts as an ak booster which can help for 10k drops 15k drops all around just adds extra like 5k to the drop because she has those perfect boosting numbers and all around is a very solid grade one and again this deck can pump out rear guards out the wazoo so if you want to just call her early and then just replace her later with stuff like forceps angel or whatever she calls do that she works she's an amazing grade one like i i can't say anything else like i didn't expect these great ones to be useful but in all these decks i'm running them in they are proving their worth they're acting as perfect ride dead discard fodder they're acting as perfect rush fodder boost uh boosting units just all around good cards four of then of course we have our four pgs and bringer of guardian uh bringer of guardian Kal Kesslon. that name makes no sense at all great on boost zero so is k base continue set on me have four sentinels in the deck i was put on guard to call two 20 units it cannot be hit to battle and every hand is two more cards and two guard from his guard standard pg nothing too special about it basically that means if this and only one other card is in your hand placed on guard circle you don't have to go much great because that means you can get as aggressive as you want this early game uh typically aggressive is like you know you board fill but again the deck kind of board fills on its own so aggressive in like the loose term of you spam down hand cards left right and center because something went horribly wrong in your superior calling um then when your opponent counterattacks you you throw on this pg you don't have to guard anything which is great um typically that ability will happen towards the later end of the stages though where your opponent is somehow surviving your bigger turns that you've been building up for by early game rushing them with superior calling so what you do is when your opponent eventually counterattacks you and you're guarding everything by the time you get down to that last hand card that's what Kesslon's pretty much going to be used for so our own priest all helps for last minute defending this is a good card to have four pgs then of course we have our last card in the deck three of in the main deck one of in, or not last card in the deck, three last grade one in the deck three of in the main deck one of in the red deck and that is caring sage great on boost 5k shield aka base auto remote upon by night of calming silence swift helm reveal the top card of your deck if it's a great tool as normal unit you may call it to rear guard and if you do not call that card whether it was a great tool as normal unit and you just chose not to call it or whether it was a trigger or a grade three put that reveal card to your hand to card me discard it and put the into your hand if you do not call and to still discard and then change rear guard during your turn if you have a great three game of our card plus five thousand power again pretty solid worst comes to words you can spare call this from Sarvaso because um it'll automatically be a 13k anyways uh and that's pretty solid to have um you can normal call this and it's just a 13k which is nice to have and not to mention the fact too they can add pgs or triggers or persona rights to your hand from his skill like no matter what its skill is guaranteed check the top card the option is always added to hand but you can superior call if you want to and typically you superior call hell i'll superior call a pg to superior call a pg for those of you that know me i will superior call a pg if it flips up in a skill which is why I don't think the old Cheris and uh, old, old Fort were bad for Bastion and Magnolia, respectively. Because I would superior call it, and I would just make it work, and I did make it work. Like, I never, that's why I never saw it as a problem. Like, I will improv on the spot with it. Also, because people that know me have known that I will consistently call double PGs as a bit, and it will win me the game because I'm smart enough to do that. Now, that's not to say that people that can't do that aren't smart enough. That's just me saying that I am, I know I can improv the situation to make it work for me, and that's just 
kind of how it is. I also know my luck, and I know I can abuse that. So, um, do you have Karis Angel, the main deck, one of in the right deck, is a very nice card that can superior call and add more board pressure, and they can add stuff to hand in case the things that you call are not ideal, and it's a 13k base if you're on the grade 3, so nice card to have. Then we move on to our grade twos. Four copies of Divine Sister of Biscotti, grade two and set five K Shield, 10k base. Um, for the record, if you haven't noticed, we've only had one card with CB so far. I'm going to tell you this right now. Biscotti and the main grade three are the only other two cards in the deck that take up CB. And typically, you will pull heal triggers. So, you know, you can pretty much afford to CB spam out the wall of Zoo. So you don't even have to worry about her energy blast skill. And even if you did, this counter charges and or energy charges for you. So take that as you will. Anyways, Biscotti, always just put on guard from hand. or guard from hand from right from right deck. Counter blast from energy blast three to draw a card. So it can replace herself, which is pretty solid. And she can definitely help lead to guard power. And I know it wasn't this deck, but in another deck, Biscotti helped me draw a PG in a situation where I would have died if I didn't have Biscotti. So I kind of owe her my life. And then the other skills, auto rear or auto which is placed on rear guard token with Sun Road this turn. Card was one energy boss three. Look at the top three card rejection to one card from Mullen, put it at the top of the deck and play the rest on bottom in any order. If it was not the battle phase, you may call it instead of putting it to the top of the deck. Sadly. She doesn't proc during the battle phase, as we just read, because if she did this deck and turn from a 4 attack deck into a 5 attack deck very quickly, but sadly we can't do it that way. However, being able to stack the top card of the deck, pretty solid, even during the battle phase, because trigger sacking galore. Um, all around, Biscotti is very solid. She can help increase hand, she can help uh, replace yourself for ride deck discard, or she can help deck stack for the game that you want to win, or if you're constantly board nuking, you play her during the main phase, she can help you get more rear guards. All around, Biscotti is a very solid grade 2, and I love having her in this deck. She's an easy 4 of. Then we have four copies of our Surgeon Dragon. Great to set five K shield, ten K base, all of them placed on rear guard circle from your drop your vanguards are great through a greater plus ten thousand power for that turn. Um I thought I had Servassal in this card name. It probably this was pulled straight from the fandom, by the way. So either the fandom's wrong, or this doesn't require shit. Meaning this grade two is a lot more useful than what I thought it was. But um all around, pretty solid. Because it's your main superior ride tar or main superior call target for Servassal up until actually it's always your main superior call target for Servassal because it will always get 10k from its skill plus the 10k from Servassal skill, so it's a 30k swinger, uh, which is nice to have. And if you're on percent returns, 40k swinger. This card shows up consistently enough, it's discard fodder, so it gets into drop zone on top of your already discard fodder. You have a total of 12 cards in here that you can use as discard fodder. You're almost always going to get some benefit out of ditching for ride deck, but then not to mention the fact that. Again, worst case scenario, you call it to rear guard circle, like in front of Medical Shot Angel. You got an 18k swinger that now acts as an interceptor. So, four of Resurgent Dragon. Just, it's it's the most resourceful card in this deck because no matter where it ends up, as long as it's in hand, it's going to be useful. Like, it either gets on board and it's an interceptor that can end up back up and drop in loop skills, or it's in hand and you ditch it for ride deck, and then it therefore sets off the chain of events. Either way, amazing grade two, four of. Then we have our last grade two in the deck. Two of in the main deck, one of in the right deck. I'm not of Comic Silence Soul Telm. Grade two is a 5k shield, 10k base. All the road pound by a grade three card with Survival Swans card. Each up to one grade three card from your hand. Call it to rear guard. You call it a card, draw a card. Um, unless your whole hand is triggers and or Persona Rides, you will call a card. Again, don't be afraid to call a PG. A lot of people are going to say I'm insane for calling a PG. You know the battles that you can win. I'm not going to say I play against pro players every day because I feel like a pro player wouldn't lose to someone calling a PG unless that person was smart enough to win with that PG. Again, I'm smart enough to win against certain people doing that, not against pro players. But um, if you know that the opponent you're playing against is possible of losing to a PG call, go for it. Because the person I did it to didn't see it fucking coming with the double PG. And that double PG screwed over their entire game plan because they took one damage. And that one damage took, like, was a domino effect. Just saying. Pick the battle. But, um, Anyways, calling a rear guard of any grade to get a free drop, pretty solid, and then continues guard circle. If you have a grade three, get a Vanguard Survival Swans card name, it gets up 10,000 shield. So, you know, 15k shield, very nice to have. Um, unlike Triumph Dragon, you don't technically need to survive to persona on turn. This deck can kill someone on turn three. I've seen it kill someone on turn three. So it can very much do it on first grade three turn, especially if you're the one going first. But um, if you are going second or you need to stall for the persona on turn, having Soul Tom in hand is a pretty solid card to have. So two of in the main deck, one of in the red deck. Then we have our grade threes. First one, four copies of what, in my opinion, was one of the best supporting grade threes for the start deck cards, and that is Viral Core Dragon. Grade three, turn up person at 13k base. All of them placed on rear guard circle from hand other than during the battle phase. I don't even know how the hell this deck would do that. If you have a grade three, get a vanguard survival once card and counter boss willing top five cards actually to one grade three less unit card from one of them called to rear guard circle control for the deck. Again, this deck typically has a full board, so like Forceps Angel, I'm basically either not using that skill or I'm using it CB just to deck then and call something over another rear guard, and that's it. But um Again, you're playing against a deck that constantly board nukes you. More cards that can call out the wazoo. You see, you, you only see two, which makes you think that that's not enough. 
trust me. It is. I promise you, with a like, with all, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is. Because this deck does not use up nearly enough CB unless your opponent lives long enough to see it happen. So take that as you will. And then the other goes auto rear guard once per turn when this unit attacks into anything. Soul boss one, it gets plus five of the power for that battle. And you soul boss to grade three, a grade to survival soul, counter charge one, or energy charge three. So either get more counter blast to abuse your opponent with next turn, or get more EB so you can use survival again more consistently. Typically, you pick the EB unless like you are at high enough damage. Like if, if you're at like four damage and all of them are face down and you know you can't kill your opponent this turn maybe do the eb maybe do the cc charge instead of the eb because as long as you're not at zero eb you can guarantee the survival next turn so um just again always pick like based off the situation but 18k swinger pretty solid a deck of four attackers and because then you're probably gonna proc on the persona right turn 28k swinger then get counter charge or e or energy charge very solid card and it also does a biscotti so worst case scenario if you need to use biscotti to save yourself it sets it up. Like, it literally gets her skill for free. This is the easiest 4 of in the entire world. Like, I cannot argue a reason why this shouldn't be a 4 of outside of you are afraid of guard power. But that's it. Like, that's the only logical reason I can think of. But, f 4 of. Then we have last card in the deck, obviously, and that's 3 of in the main deck, 1 of in the right deck for our main grade 3, who I really loved already because he has an arrow. For those who don't know, bows, bows and arrows are one of my favorite weapons. And that is Salvation, Wing, Angel, Sarav also. Grade 3, 10 Fire Sword, 13k base. Act Vanguard Circle once per turn, the same skill that all the quick start deck bosses have. Counter Boss 1, search deck for to one copy of the same card, reveal, put it to hand, shuffle your deck, and if you uh, get plus something to the power for the turn, again, you don't have to search a copy of him uh, to get the 10k. He'll get the 10k regardless. Being able to search an extra copy is great because it sets up Persona Right turns for stuff like Viral Core, Biscotti, though I'm going to say this right now, I have never once used Biscotti's effect over here, or you could call four steps and get more numbers. Either way, it adds pressure. And then Auto Vanguard when the sea attacks into a Vanguard by Energy Blasting 4, which is a great throw, normal unit from your drop zone, call to Rear Guard, gets something to the power for the turn. So sadly, when proc off Viral core but again this is your main target who you see consistently enough 40k right here 10 from his skill 10 for sarvasa skill if you persona road 40 and if you call spaghetti uh biscotti even if you call her during the battle phase still stack on the top card of your deck um this is a tw 23k the turn that is called if you call from that skill or if you're persona right 33k like the options are endless sarvasa is really good and if you want to just to actually get five attacks run karibre just run Karibre in this deck because Karibre could make this hit five attacks if you spend the CB and the Soul Boss for it. Um, but all around, it, it, it's just good. Rear guard, more attacks, good numbers on that rear guard to guarantee unless I see a trigger, it's hitting anyways. Um, can kill someone on turn three. Again, I've seen it happen. It literally, you have 12 different cards that act as discard fodder. You are almost always going to have a form of quote-unquote free ride deck and it, it searches for itself and it has like in my opinion the best of the supporting grade threes i i, I can't argue more than just good and that's over the deck i hope you guys enjoyed like I, I i kind of just gave you my outro like this deck is so good it's fun to play it's like the top three favorites the other two being triumph dragon and crystonios so remember i hated those two i always liked survival so that doesn't really say anything but remember i hated those two and i like those two now but um no, the deck works so well. You get multi attack so easily. You have like every single discard fodder imaginable to you. Almost everything in this deck is a toolbox for calling. It just works so well with itself. And by the way, it sacks out the wazoo. I have seen this deck hit like almost every one of its drive checks that I have had. Like every one of my twin drives has almost consistently consisted of double triggers. Typically, one of them is a heal. The other one's typically a crit. Like I I'm not even joking with you. Like what? If I were to do the math, I think I've done like um not even 10 more than 10 i think like 12 13 twin drives of this deck like 10 of them i think have actively been double triggers and i know at least five of those have had a heal and a crit i don't know about the other ones but i know at least five of them to memory on the dot is heal and crit so take that as you will i know this is my luck with it but i'm proving my point either way though this one here i hope you guys enjoyed it can get rear guards off the wall zoo it can multi attack galore it, it, it's just good so Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to send up your vanguards.